Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review 80 for Brady. And this is a new comedy sports drama from director Kyle Marvin, who's making his directorial debut, focusing on a kind of true story, inspired by a true story of four elderly women who are huge Pats fans, huge Tom Brady fans, who wind up going off to Super Bowl 51 to see them Patriots facing off against the Falcons. And I was so shocked by how much I laughed watching this movie. This is a legitimately funny movie. There is laughs from start to finish. Most of the laughs hit. There are a few that, you know, are kind of cheesy, kind of silly, not quite there, but many of those jokes land. And this film is endearing and charming. You actually care about these four women. It's earnest. There is no cynicism here. We care about these four women. We care about their friendship. And we care about their love for football. And the more emotional elements that brought them together, one of them surviving cancer and, you know, surviving divorce and surviving one of their husbands passing away, and all those things that bring them closer together. The friendship of these four women is really poignant and wonderful. And this cast is off the charts. Sally Field, Rita Moreno, Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, the four of them are incredible together, have wonderful chemistry, and really deliver on what this film is trying to do. The story is outlandish and keeps getting more outlandish, and keeps getting more over the top, and at some point, maybe some people will lose their suspension of disbelief because it just gets that absurd. For me, I felt like I was so connected to these characters that, and from the start, the film guides you into the tone that it didn't take me out of the film, but I acknowledge that, like, a lot of these things are completely ridiculous and have no way of happening. It's just a crazy, like, Forrest Gump level of ridiculous happenstance that are happening to these this group of women. And also, I never thought I would say this, but this movie made me care about Tom Brady. And I don't know how to feel about that. As a Giants fan, I don't know how to feel about that. And I do feel like this movie is shamelessly like a rebranding and like PR stunt for Tom Brady. So like, there's that. Um, it does take you out of the film a little bit with how obnoxiously it's like, Tom Brady. It's the 80 for Brady is the name of the movie. You're going in being like, this is going to be all about Tom Brady. And it is. And trying to make you feel good for about him and root for the Patriots, which I don't think I've ever done. But this film is so earnest and sweet and endearing, it will make you laugh. If you just need a fun time to sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself, this has that covered. But those are my thoughts on 80 for Brady. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.